What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs. Cats, Sag, everybody in between, down with basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading, 6.54 a.m., Sunday, 4.23.23. Hope everybody's doing well. Trigger warning, these are heavy messages. So if these trigger you, click off. Disclaimer is in the description box below. But they woke me up early ass in the morning. They are disturbing. So if you don't want to be disturbed, don't keep watching, okay? But that's what I got. Somebody has some, is weird as fuck. I just, disclaimer in that. Somebody's weird as fuck. Somebody needs some fucking mental health help. Just saying, just saying. Okay. The first one I got was a fire sign femme judge. So, Aries Leo Sage judge. She's a judge in the universe. She's judge, but it's kind of like a uh, freak in the sheets. Uh, what is it? Um, what's that saying? Um, you're a freak in the sheets, but... Uh, um, you, you like cool out in the streets and freaking the sheets. Except her freakiness is about to get exposed all over a city. Just saying, just saying. Um, anyways, okay, so Fire Sun Femme Judge, Aries Leo Sash Judge. I heard she's having an affair with a lawyer. Heard an Air Sun lawyer. So she's Aries Leo Sash. Um, um, judge in the universe so she is a judge um and she's having an affair with an air sign lawyer gemini libra aquarius lawyer um he's a masculine lawyer and she's a femme judge but i heard the wife is about to find out and the whole city is about to find out because i heard she likes it in the ass and he wears a strap on and he gives it to her in the ass I, i'm serious it's what i got um, and I was laying in the bed getting this shit. <laughs> it, it sucks being a chosen one sometimes. I'm just being for real. I, who wants these messages? Nobody. I don't like knowing this shit. <laughs> and that's just the truth. <laughs> but anyway, so, um, she's having an affair. So I don't know if she's in a relationship, he's in a relationship, or they both are, but somebody is in order to make it an affair. Oh, actually, I do know. He's in a... He definitely is. He definitely is because his wife's about to find out. Yeah. He's definitely in a relationship because he's married. She may or may not be, but he definitely is. But... However that resonates. But... They've been having an affair for a while. She likes it in the ass. He uses a strap on. Gives it to her in the ass. I mean, I hate to say it, but that is what I'm... That's what I'm picking up on. Um, I heard there has been, okay, so there's camera footage of this that is supposed to be confidential, but that's about to get leaked out by someone they would have never expected. So there is some kind of camera footage, probably home camera footage, I'm presuming, or maybe they did it in public. I don't know. Or maybe the safe room or wherever they did it. I don't know. Somehow there's camera footage of this affair there's camera footage of him i'm assuming giving it to her in the ass with the strap on there's camera footage proving this already in the universe but i heard it's supposed to be confidential but somehow it's got, about to get leaked out by someone they would have never expected it's about to get leaked out i heard to an entire city surrounding communities and the wife and it's about to cause a huge ass divorce very public in the city um i heard the between the wife and the husband I heard he's a very prominent lawyer in this city, but it's about to ruin his reputation. It's about to ruin the uh, judge's reputation. And um, I heard the wife is going to be very successful in the divorce. It is about to be publicly humiliating. And I heard um, the footage is about to go fast. So you plug it in, how it resonates. And I heard it's about to be, well, I said it in here earlier, it's about to be leaked by someone they would have never expected. In a very unexpected way, very fast. In a very unexpected way very fast 
So it's about to be leaked by someone they would have never expected the video camera footage in a very unexpected way, very fast. Um, you plug it in, but the video camera footage is supposed to be confidential. So you plug it in how it resonates. Whoa. <laughs> Somebody like strap ons? Like, yeah, yikes. Whoa, that's sick. I mean, well, I'm not trying not to judge, but I would never want nothing up in my ass. That's exit only type area. But this fire sign film judge does. And so does the air sign masculine. Ah, and so does the air sign masculine. Oh, they both do. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I don't want to know this shit. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> well, okay, they both do. I guess that's what drew them together in the sexual department. But the crazy part is, okay, so I told y'all this before and I'll say it again. I equate judges and lawyer relationship and dynamic kind of like to a, um, a judge and a lawyer kind of like to a doctor and a nurse in a workplace dynamic in a way. That's kind of how I equate it. But this, but somehow they got close enough to talk about sex. Somehow they were talking about sex outside of the courtroom. They conversed, obviously, probably for years, or maybe not even years, behind the courtroom, or beside the courtroom, or in the closet, or whatever, whatever. You see what I'm saying? I, I feel like, I feel there was a lot of personal conversation before it got to um, them actually having sex, because they knew what each other liked. And this dude definitely is married. I don't know if she is or isn't, but he definitely is, for sure, for sure, for sure. Um, it's about to ruin the reputation. It's about to cause a divorce. The divorce should have happened a long time ago, but it's about to happen after this. Okay, I heard the divorce should have happened a long time ago, but it's about to happen after this. So the divorce should have happened a long time ago, but it should have happened after this. So you plug it in, how it resonates. That's one reason why I don't want to ever get married again. Because of shit like this. Never, never, never. Okay, that was the first one. Let me see if I get anything else on it. Oh, my God. This is about to publicly humiliate this air sign lawyer. He is all about reputation. All about reputation. It is about to tank his repu professional reputation and his personal reputation into the ground. He probably will end up moving. He will lose a ton of money after this. Clientele is about to run away from him. He works in a downtown area by the courthouse. Oh my God. Wow. So the air sign lawyer works in the downtown area by, by the courthouse. I'm assuming the courthouse the judge works in that likes it with straps on, strap on and in the bud and all this, that, and the other, right? Right, Sam. I don't want to know that about her, whoever she is, but I do. And him. Who wants to know this shit? <laughs> I mean, I know you guys do, but as a channeler, yikes, I'm just saying. I like the happy shit, but this is not what I'm getting. But anyway, so, <laughs> um, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's just shit you can't make up. It's, and that's just the truth. <laughs> I started, but I'm serious. I mean, like, yikes. But anyway, so, um, you take it. I think you guys know these people. I do. I, and I think for some, I think the dirty lawyer, dirty bird lawyer, and the dirty judge probably watches my channel too. And I think you guys know these people. And I'm serious. There's a reason. I mean, it woke me up. And then I got a nasty another one. I got to deliver that one too. But um, but yeah. So, anyways, um, but these people are about to be exposed. It's about to ruin the um Airsign lawyer's career, basically, or damn near ruin it. So much so. That when all this shit goes public, the um, video goes public. I'm sure his wife's going to cause a public outcry with this shit. 
Um, she's about to file for divorce. I mean, this is about to be very public because it's about to be publicly humiliating to her. Um, I'm assuming that maybe the judge, uh, I'm assuming the judge and the um, lawyer, because I heard he's all about clout and fame and notoriety and public image. So he doesn't want people to know he wears a strap on and does a judge in the ass, basically. He doesn't want people to know that. And I'm sure the judge doesn't want people to publicly know that he that she's close enough with a lawyer to know, for him to know that she likes it up the ass and that she allowed him to do it. I mean, you see what I'm saying? But somehow it's about to come out, some kind of confidential video. It's about to come out showing this sex video, I'm presuming. Um, yikes. But, um, it is about to show sides of them they do not ever want people to see. And they are about to, it's about to happen. Black leather is significant. Dominatrix energy. Oh my God. It's about to show sides of them they don't want people to see. Black leather is significant. Dominatrix energy. She's a dominatrix. She was involved with sex trafficking in the past, and that's about to backfire on her in a huge-ass way, too. Oh, my God. She's a dominatrix. The judge is a fucking dominatrix? Oh, my God! Wow! I got some weird visual in my head. I just don't even want to go there. Holy shit! Oh! Oh, my God. Red hair is significant. Uh, red hair is significant. Oh, you plug it in how it resonates. Red hair is significant. I don't want to know more about this. Yikes! Um, she's a dominatrix, and that would make sense. Control issues. She's a judge, and that's just true. Heavy narcissist. She either has red hair, or maybe the Arizona lawyer has red hair. Somebody's got red hair. I feel in this sex video that's about to go around all around uh city, surrounding com um communities, and um and outside the state, and to st state capital. This is about to turn into a huge ass thing for these people. Very badly. Oh my God. Whoa. I'm pulling this in so strong. I want it to be done by now. Oh my God. Ah. Okay. So what's about to go around? The city, surrounding um, communities, outside the state, the sex video, I'm presuming, the confidential sex video, and the state capital. The people these people don't want it to go to. Basically, people these people have professionally connected with or they're about to. Um, and it's about to go badly for their careers, basically. Yeah, because uh, somebody's about to get sent a damn sex video of a judge basically doing a, a, it was a dude up the ass with a strap on probably wears a black leather. Whoa! <laughs> oh, shit! I heard she was involved with sex trafficking in the past, the judge was. Um, and it's about to really seriously backfire on her. It is about to ruin these people's reputations in a huge-ass way. A significant pension is about to be taken away through many series of chain events. It's about to ruin these people's reputation in a huge way, and a significant pension is about to be taken away through many series of chain events. Wow, this shit is terrible. Whoa. Um, this fire sign fam lawyer is about to ever regret getting involved with the Libra fam of the past. And a sad fam. This fire sign fem lawyer, uh, not lawyer, fire sign fem judge, fire sign fem judge, Aries Leo size judge is about to ever regret getting involved with the Libra fem and a Sag fem of the past. So somehow a Sag fem and a Libra fem influences maybe their dominatrixes and woke, uh, not woke, but introduce the fire sign fem judge to the dominatrix lifestyle, maybe? I mean, I didn't hear that. This is, I'm putting the pieces together. But some, or how that resonates, but somehow. This fire sign fem judge, dominatrix chicky do, likes to strap on and blah, blah, blah. She somehow had connections with the Libra fem and a Sag fem in the past. They could have Libra or Sag any aspects of her chart. I think she's about to ever regret being in connection with them in the past because some uh, something with sex or sex video or strap on or dominatrix energy or something like that. But it's about to ruin these people's career. I mean, it's about to get to state capital. The state fucking capital, other states, surrounding community. I mean, it is about to go so fast. And there's some huge incriminating material here. And the person about to release it is authorized to release it.
These people made huge mistakes. Oh my God, I'm picking up so strong. It's about to go fast like wildfire. And whoever has this confidential video that they have authorization to release it. So I think the air sign masculine or the fire sign femme has given these people authorization or the person about to release the, that they never thought release this video fast, about to release it. And I heard they have authorization to release it. You plug it in how it resonates. This is about to turn into a huge ass deal. This is about to turn into a huge ass deal. I ain't even got to the dirty damn, um, the dirty um, preacher yet. Yikes. You plug it in how it resonates, man. Let me see if I get anything else with this one. I want to move on. Yikes. This is about to give a very, 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 very high position of authority. Scorpio masculine, a huge ass wake up call. He will be sent this video to. Oh my God, I heard president. Oh my God. This is about to give a very, very high uh, position of authority. Scorpio masculine, a huge, huge ass wake up call. And I heard he'll be sent this video too. And then after that, I heard president. So whoever you are, very, very high position of authority, Scorpio masculine. I take president a couple ways. I feel, because I'm president on the end of that, Scorpio masculine. So you're president of something, I feel. I take that a couple ways. I feel you're a president of a company um, or a president of maybe the United States. Because, And I only say that because our current president of the United States, Biden, he's a, pre he's a Scorpio. But I don't know. I don't know. Or president of something. Um, however that resonates. Um however that resonates okay president of something i heard president so i don't know if that's president of a company president of the united states or president of something else you plug in how it resonates but whoever you are you are a scorpio masculine you're about to get sent this video too um along with it sounds like communities and people in other states and the damn state capital of wherever state she resides in um, and apparently the, the wife of the dude, lawyer, um, this is about to cause a hot mess and I'm serious, but, um, but this is the choices these people made free willingly, but, um, it's about to give you a huge wake up call, Scorpio masculine president of something, whether you're president of a company, president of the United States, president of an other country or however that resonates, you can have Scorpio, any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Midhaven, Jupiter, Chart, Scorpio, Masculine. Um, I heard President, but like I said, I could take that several different ways. You take it how it resonates. Whoa! This is about to cause huge ass change and very quick. This is about to cause huge ass change and very quick. And it's about to cause a court ruling to be reversed of the past. This is about to cause huge ass change and quick, and it's about to cause a court ruling of the past to be reversed. Wow! Holy shit! Okay, so this is about to change, cause 555 five, five change with the Eight of Wands. Quick, fast change. But it's about to cause so much change, not only in these people's personal lives because of this, my gosh, leather and strap ons. I mean, that's okay in the bedroom if you're with somebody you can trust, but. This is this is an affair though. This is different. This is an affair. They shouldn't be done doing it. It's an affair, and um, and it's probably conflict of interest because if this masculine lawyer actually has done practice law in her courtroom, he has. Oh my God! I heard he has. Oh, I was about to say it was going to cause conflict of interest, but I heard he has. Oh shit! Oh my God, that might be what it's about to cause the reversal of some kind of court case in the past. Possibly. I didn't hear that. That's just my deductive logic and reasoning. Somehow, when all this shit about blow up and blow up quick, 
It's about to cause a reversal of a court case in the past. It's probably somebody in St. Capital is about to make ring, 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 or somebody else. I don't know. Only you guys know how you fit in this and how you're going to handle this. But my God, but I will tell you, it's going to cause a reversal of a significant court case in the past. And he has practiced law in her courtroom before. So there is definite co conflict of interest. I wonder if he goes up in there and handles cases now, if he imagines doing her up the ass with a damn strap on. And I'm just being for real. I mean, shit. Wow. You plug it in, how it resonates. Wow, this is a big deal. All right, that's the first one. All right, so the second one, I heard a um, chaos is about to ensue with this one. The first one. Chaos is about to ensue with this one, the first one. So the judge and the lawyer and all that hot mess. Chaos. Yeah, it's so much, so bad it's about to cause a reversal of a court, uh, some kind of significant court case. Sounds like that was handled in her courtroom, maybe with him as a lawyer or not, but definitely with her courtroom of the past. Definitely her courtroom. Definitely her courtroom. There's confirmation. Something that happened in her courtroom in the past is about to cause a reversal of the ruling. It's This is about to be so huge. Okay, so that was the first one. I'm moving on. We're 2110. Okay, so the second one was um, I heard a, very, um, a uh, masculine um, not really a father, he thinks he is, but he's really not a masculine that really thinks he's a father, but he's not. Um, I heard he has been um strategically getting his kids, I heard he has two kids specifically, strategically getting his kids around a dirty pastor. But I heard it's about to seriously backfire. Um, I heard the pastor. Um, is very dirty and wants to um, get the kids um, cornered um, to where uh, he can molest them, basically, is what I heard. And I, I hate putting that on here. I feel uncomfortable saying that, but that is what I heard. Um, I heard he has secretly voyeured them in the past through a hidden camera, but he's not doing it anymore. Um, but he has dirty thoughts of them, and so he wants his game plan is to um and i heard the uh, the the so-called father knows this he knows this this dirty pastor and he goes to the dirty pastor's church um if he was a true father he would have separated from this dirty pastor but yet he knows he's like him because they're just like each other but that's not a true parent a true parent would separate if they truly cared about their kids they'd separate them from the dirty bird pastor but he's not he's putting them in the crossfires of molester energy all day long which is sick as fuck but that is the truth if he truly cared about his kids he would have separated him away from the kids but he made the free willing choice not to because the dirty bird pastor is just like his dirty bird ass so he knows this dirty bird pastor wants to molest his kids basically and he's put them in the crosshairs it's about to seriously backfire in a huge ass way. The so-called father might get arrested through many series of chain events and the kids will stand up to them. He doesn't think the kids will, but they will. Particularly the daughter and the son. Oh, there's a daughter and a son. Um, wow, I heard and I heard that strong. So he doesn't think the daughter or the son will stand up to the dirty bird pastor, but they will. Um, the father. But I heard through many series of shame events, the father might end up getting arrested. And the pastor. Because someone's about to seriously rat on this pastor in a huge ass way. It's a masculine pastor. And the pastor. Somebody's okay, so the pastor and the so called not really a father is probably gonna both of them are probably gonna get arrested soon through many series of shame events. Somebody's about to rat on the pastor. So for some you could be the one about to rat on the pastor. For some, you could create series of shame events to get this dirty bird not really a father locked up you plug yourself in where you fit but somebody's definitely about to rat on the pastor regarding another child in another situation regarding another child in another situation so the pastor is about to get ratted on he this is not the only child that he's targeting basically but the sad part with this one is he's targeting these kids these two kids the man uh the boy and girl kid but he know the pastor knows the own father knows he's targeting the kids. That is so fucking sick. These poor kids are calling the crosshairs of dirty ass birds all day long. 
And nobody's doing anything about it. This is sick as fuck. But some other parent is about to knows oh, regarding another child. And so the pastor probably will end up getting locked up. Not from Dirty Bird, caught, one of his kids caught in the crosshairs of this shit, but another parent, which is good. So, and the other parent. And the other parent. So, this other parent is not playing around. Okay, I heard this other parent's not playing around. So, this other parent's going to report the pastor um, and the other parent, uh, it sounds like. But you plug it in how it resonates. But definitely the pastor. But the reporting of the parent, of, of the pastor is going to come from another parent. Because this pastor is targeting boy and girl kids, minor kids, 17 or below. All over, I guess, his congregation or what have you. It sounds like his congregation, but you plug in how it resonates. Wow. He's abu it's abuse of power at his finest. This is terrible. It is about to go very badly for the so-called father and the pastor. It's about to go very badly for the so-called father and the pastor. Well, good. Lock him up. Don't ever let him out. And that's just damn true. And a court case of the past is about to come up in a huge way with these people. And they're not going to like it. And the pastor is about to get sued soon. Oh, my God. A court case of the pastor is about to come up in a huge way. And these people aren't going to like it. Uh, I'm assuming these, the dirty father and the pastor, I'm assuming, or some other somebody else in the congregation. And the pastor is about to get sued soon. Probably from the parent that's about to stand up to his ass. But I heard if he comes towards these kids, the one that the father intentionally has been trying to put him in, put them in the crosshairs of this dirty bird, because this dude knows the pastor wants to molest them. How sick is that shit? Protect your damn kids if you're this douchewad. Protect your kids. Don't put them in the fucking crosshairs, you sick ass. Um, yikes! That's common sense fucking 101. But anyways, so. But it's not about to go well for you, and I'm glad. You sick ass. But anyways, um, so yeah. So, but he's about to get locked up soon. But it's about to be from another parent. I think the one that, where he's done it to other kids. He's targeted other kids, but the wrong other kids. It, these kids should be the wrong other kids too, but they have the wrong fucking parent in control, basically. Or has custody of them right now, or has temporary custody. This person needs their rights stripped away. They will get their rights stripped away through many series of chain events. It's about to go very badly for this person. He doesn't think it's going to, and it's about to. Oh, God, I heard he will get his rights stripped away through many series of chain events. I heard he doesn't think it's going to go badly for him, but it's about to through many series of chain events. So he thinks he's in the clear, child, like Chester the Child Molester energy. Uh, so much so, he knows his own fucking pastor is a fucking molester. But he protects him because they're molesters together. Um, This is sick as hell. But he's about to get caught whether he th he already doesn't think he's going to ever get caught. But he's about to. Hopefully by the other parent or by other people in the congregation um, that probably figure out these people are buddy pals and are intentionally placing these kids, his kids, but He's not a real parent. They need to go to a parent that cares or to a place that cares if they don't have another parent that cares. And I'm serious because this is sick. But it's a boy and a girl child, but I heard they will, minor, 17 or below, they will stand up to him. So that's going to, if he attempts, um, they will stand up to him. But he's not only tried, um, he's contemplating attempting with these. It sounds like strategically getting the so-called dad to put him in the crosshairs for targeting. But he's already done it to other kid or kids and another, definitely one other parent knows, if not more than another parent. We need more parents like this in the universe and that's just the truth. This is yikes. This pastor will probably end up getting locked up soon in the dirty.
so-called father through many series of chain of events. People in this congregation have already gotten a huge wake-up call. They're about to get another one, and they're about to take some huge action. Okay, I heard this masculine dirty bird pastor, abuser of power, basically, and the masculine dirty bird congregation member that knows he's like it and is just like him and feels safe in his safe space and Chester Molester energy, um, um, they both probably will get locked up soon because other parents in this congregation, so it is his congregation, um, already have gotten a huge wake up call and they're about to get another one. Well, kudos to the parents about to take some action um, and get his abuse of power ass locked up and this other dirty bird just like him, Chester the Child Molester Energy, because it's sick. All right, I'm closing this out. I love you guys, and namaste.